It took me 25 hours to render one frame in Blender. Let me explain. I decided to do an experiment. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. To check if I render a scene at default settings in cycle, how long would it take? And it was way beyond what I had expected. So I had to fix that. I scanned through every tip that is on the internet on how to speed up the cycle renders. And here are the top five that actually worked, which helped me bring down the render time to 30 seconds. The first tip is very obvious. Reduce the number of samples. Well, we all know that, but how much? As per my observations, anything between 300 to 100 samples works just fine for most of the scenes. So I did just that and it immediately brought down my render time from 25 hours to just 43 minutes. But that's still too high. So it's time for the next step, noise threshold. This setting tells Blender how would you want to handle noise in Blender. Well, the only thing that you need to remember in this is that the lower the light in your scene is, the lower the number should be. And anything between 0.2 to 0.5 works well for most of the scene. Okay, so it's time to make that change and render. And it immediately brought down my render time to 14 minutes. Awesome. So we are making progress, but I have promised you 30 seconds and we are far from it. So stay tuned because the next setting is going to bring down the render time by more than 50%. So let's expand this setting called light path. And the very first thing that you see here is max light bounces. This just means how many times would the light bounce in a scene from the surfaces around your object before Blender stop calculating. And it is set to 12 by default, which is kind of high. It's safe to reduce it to four to five, unless you have a lot of time or processing power needed to render more. So let's make that change and boom, the render time is reduced to six minutes now. But I know, I know, I have to bring it down to 30 seconds. Just be a little bit more patient because the next setting is going to reduce it by another 50%. And this is called light tree. The checkbox is enabled by default and it is designed to sample multiple light sources in your scene to more efficiently render your scene. But if the checkbox is enabled, we let Blender decide the threshold and that causes a lot of problems. So just uncheck it and type the number here. The lower the number, the less accurate the light is and the higher the number the more time it's gonna take to render but it will be more accurate as well i'm gonna leave it at 0.01 and hit render and our new render time is 3 minutes 42 seconds now all right it's time for the final setting that will bring our render times to 30 seconds are you ready well here's the twist the last setting is not a setting at all but something you need to do with your model we need to reduce the number of subdivisions or the number of polygons that we are using in our scene and it can make a huge difference. I added a subdivision modifier to my model originally. So let's bring down the number of subdivisions to zero and hit render. And here we have it, 39 seconds for one frame. Here is the bonus tip for you. You should make sure that the denoise and composition are set to GPU. Also, if you do not have an issue with the memory, enable persistent data as this will not reduce the time it takes for one frame to render, but it will most definitely reduce the total time it's going to take you to render your animation. All right, so now you know how to render faster. So maybe you can render this disintegration effect. Click on this video to know more.